The amazing thing about Breakthrough Starshot is that it is an opportunity to have collaborative efforts internationally in order to reach the goal of getting to another star within 20 years, um, going 20% of light speed. That kind of international collaboration means that we have to understand and renew space treaties. What do we want them to accomplish? Policies about the use of technologies. How do we develop private, public, governmental partnerships such that we have consortia that can maybe work on one part of a project? How do we integrate that into our life here on Earth so that it benefits many people? So the way you get to maintain the momentum and to get to the goal is by making sure that the public at large is included, that there are touch points, that there are access points for many different people so that they can uh, feel the excitement and the enthusiasm. It means that we need to engage people in countries throughout the world. We need to engage young people, researchers, so that they have an opportunity to contribute to this. In fact, what we want to look at is how do you get this ambition that's bigger than any one person, that's bigger than any one country, that's something that starts to unify us. Frequently when people think of space exploration, they believe it's only about uh, understanding what's happening on the surface of Venus, looking out at another galaxy. But space exploration impacts our lives every day right now. So if you can go all the way back to when we learn to uh, figure out the seasons because of the, the sun and the moon cycles, that we understood a lot about what was going on. We navigated through this using the stars right here on Earth. But if you think about the advances that have happened as a result of space exploration in the 1960s, um, we, we have weather satellites, which we count on. We do remote sensing and looking at agriculture and crops. People walk around with um, space receivers in their pocket. What is that? The GPS in their cell phones, right? The global positioning satellite systems that allow you to navigate the materials that are developed for the program. And I would say there's another part of space exploration that becomes very important. That is the understanding and the thought that we can do all kinds of things, right? So we really are able to push forward 